No. I feel so lucky, <laughs> but this is going to feel really cold, I think, still. When we have in New Orleans and North Shore, teens and 20s in our forecast, I know you really have to feel for those farther to the north, where, as you say, they will be below zero. And this stretch does continue for much of the week for them. For us, it's really through about Wednesday, and it really gets going on Monday. And then, of course, that includes Monday and into Tuesday. Even today, though, our high was 47. It's cloudy. We're in the 40s right now, but look at our cold carnival. Tomorrow we barely get to maybe close to 50, maybe not touching 50. Actually, Monday we start off on Lundy Gras morning in the 30s, and this 43 probably will be absolutely the highest. In fact, much of the day will probably be spent after we hit that high in the 30s. Colder Arctic air rushes in on Monday, and then look at this. It ends by Monday evening or night, but it does leave us in the teens and 20s for Mardi Gras morning with highs on Mardi Gras, maybe only around 39 or so. And we will talk about this, the chance for a bit of sleet or freezing rain, which would be more so far to the north, maybe northern Tangipahoa, north of Baton Rouge out there, and a cold rain likely for most of us during the day on Monday. We could easily have a little bit of sleet or a freezing, a uh, bit of freezing rain here and there kind of mixed in though, particularly north, but maybe even a little bit south uh, potentially uh, of the lake. Temperatures right now are in the upper 30s to 40s. The wind is making it colder, these north winds up to 15 to 20 miles miles per hour, so the feels like temperature here we are in the 30s feeling like on this Saturday evening again when many of us would be out on the Endemian parade route hour by hour through the evening. We stay mainly in the 40s and our lows tonight I have in the 40s, probably north and south of the lake, maybe some upper 30s on the North Shore. I wanted to break this down a little bit more for you. Lundy Gras into Mardi Gras, some of the main time frames. Monday afternoon, maybe some of us would be scurrying around doing Mardi Gras kind of things already. We would be in the 40s, feeling like upper 30s with a high chance for a cold rain in the city. By Monday evening, when parades, um, Proteus, Orpheus, and so forth are getting going, we would be, this is our forecast, in the upper 30s. But look at this, the Arctic air rushing in, feeling like upper 20s, and maybe a little rain still lingering. As for Tuesday morning, if you're out on the parade routes or thinking about kind of that time frame, of course, you won't actually be there this year, but we would be in the 20s, feeling like 15 degrees. And on Tuesday afternoon, even if you were out later on Mardi Gras, 30s, still feeling like middle 30s. Actually, this makes me think, do you remember January 18th and 2018 when these were our temperatures? I grabbed these old school graphics from my Facebook page from a post I made then. We were at 20 at Kenner and teens on the North Shore and the feels like temperature then, this wasn't a Mardi Gras day, of course, it was just a really cold day that we had. The feels like temperature made it into the single digits. And it looks like that might be possible, if not quite that low, pretty close to that in teens to uh, maybe some lower or higher single digits on Tuesday morning this go round. So Monday the Arctic air arrives. There could be a little sleet or a freezing rain mix far to the north. Hard freeze Tuesday morning, even South Shore. Protect your exposed outdoor pipes, plants and pets. And for those areas where it's going to be freezing very quickly after getting that cold rain or the sleet and freezing rain, uh, there might be potentially some areas of patchy ice, which would make travel into the city, maybe from some far northern areas, quite difficult. But thankfully, again, we won't have that kind of travel. I think hopefully everyone will be able to stay indoors this Tuesday morning. There is actually a winter storm watch just outside of our area, so any ice accumulations that we have I think would be quite small, but it only takes a trace of ice to make travel very difficult and hazardous. And of course, we're not used to driving on ice. A lot of people have trouble with that even farther north, so uh, this is probably a good thing that we probably will be staying indoors. Tonight, upper 30s to 40 or so. Tomorrow, we hover in the 40s through the day with a little less wind and then very quickly to check out your planner tomorrow and we'll jump ahead to our model. This is Monday morning, starting to see the rain moving in. That will be because of some low pressure near our coast, sending moisture as we're getting the Arctic air. Through the afternoon, still a cold rain, but you can see the chance for that wintry precipitation. There might be a little window, this isn't set in stone, but late Monday, perhaps late afternoon or early evening, this is 8 p.m. So this is, again, not set in stone, but there might be a very brief changeover Monday evening to maybe some sleet or freezing rain kind of mixed with the cold rain as it's coming to an end. Then we're dry and quite cold Tuesday morning. Wednesday will not be quite as cold. We'll eventually warm up into the upper 50s with another cool down Thursday into Friday.